What up y'all, we're back with another cinematic tutorial and today we've got a nice cut off mohawk. To begin, comb down all the hair into its natural position. With your preferred trimmer, set in a V-shaped design towards the occipital area. Now follow by creating the baselines like usual, but make sure they're dropped enough to meet together. If you notice, we are using the corners of the trimmer to really give that baseline a rounded shape. Now you want to reduce all the bulk left underneath. Be sure to have that trimmer blade flat on the scalp to reduce any nick. Using a shaver, reduce any excess stubble left behind. With your clipper and the lever open, create a half inch guideline, only shadowing the side baseline. Now close up the lever fully and hit that baseline halfway through. You want to gradually keep opening up the lever as you move up throughout this guideline. If the baseline is still visible, you may use your trimmer to soften it up. If you decide to, remember that the corners is best when doing so. Guys, be patient when working on this guideline and if you're having trouble blending it, just keep opening and closing the lever. I did decide I was going to fade in the bottom portion of the design, so I created a V-shape and blended it using the same steps we just went over. I did make sure I left some darkness so the design would pop. Next, with the one and a half guard open, create a four inch guideline. With your number two, go up above just a tad, giving it a flick out motion. Using the half guard halfway open, create a half inch guideline. Again, only on the side part of the blend. Next, just open up the lever fully and create another half inch guideline. Alright, now break the line within the dark and light area using that number one. At this point, you'll see that your blend will start looking much more blurry. All that's left to do is open up the lever, no guard, and use your corners to get rid of that last visible line.
remember you will have to play around with the lever when touching up details. Guys, the other side is the exact same thing, just make sure to have identical baselines and the same size guidelines. I do want to thank you guys for all the support and love, I just can't thank you enough for everything and I hope everyone keeps learning off the channel. Guys, if you happen to be wondering where to get these translucent guards, you can shop at MartyBuns.com. If you guys do happen to be purchasing anything babyless, remember to use Marty10 to save some cash. Alright now back to the cut, remember that if you are a beginner you will come to situations where you get stuck. Just use your creativity to get by and keep studying the game. There are loads of videos that will help you get over the situation you're currently in. As for the design, I tend to use my FX3s to shape it up perfectly. Now you want to use your straight razor and stretch the skin to get the best shave within the design. Now you want to use your straight razor and stretch the skin to get the best shave within the design. When lining up, start in the center and work your way off to the corners. Beard work is fairly simple, if you do happen to be confused, click the card to watch the full beard tutorial. That's been it for this beautiful cut off mohawk, if you enjoyed this tutorial or learned anything from me today be sure to drop a like and subscribe. That's been it for me, I'm Marty Blends, and I'm out, peace.